Alright guys, well, there you have it. The phrase that pays. Sorry about the light, we're done the best we can here. Um, it's hard to get this in because it's in the building, but there is the back of the bus. All that beautiful color just waiting for a good bath. I'm gonna walk around and show you a little bit more of it, so hold on a minute. As I said, I apologize, but it's pretty big for my screen. Let's walk in. Awesome blue, blue color. You can see the windows. Has this really nice big window in the side. You have all the great undercarriage painted blue also. I can't even imagine getting into one of these back in the day. Just so, so cool. Got all the chrome. There's your window, the driver's side. Just a beautiful, beautiful, old school work of art. Alright, I'm gonna go around the other side. Hold on. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and walk around this side. We do have some light on it. Trying to have it so you can appreciate really what this bus is all about. I'm gonna walk down the side here. Just give you a little quick view of the windows. The amount of effort and detail made into this bus is extraordinary. Now a lot of people are saying, what could I do with an old bus? Doesn't run at the moment. It did run. Uh, as always, this is a resurrection deal. You need a vision and you need to take this home because guess what? It's for sale, guys. How do you like that? Would I bring you something you couldn't own yourself? Let's go around the front. Look at the, the headlights. Detail. There's your GMC. Oh, sorry. Losing you. There's the street sign for when you get on and off. There's the GMC. Oh, we got a little bit more light. And there's your great windshield with all the lights. Again, I apologize. There's just no room in here to get you a full, full view. I need to go down this way. Let's see. There's the chrome in the back of the bus. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's go inside. All right, everybody, let's come on in and take a look. Here's your controls. And let's see, we're trying to illuminate this with LEDs, so bear with me. Cabinetry in this old girl. Look at that. CB radio. You got your shag carpet on the roof. Oh, this is good. Where else are you going to see this? It's so good, I'm almost speechless. More gauges for you. There's your meter. Now you might say, whatever could you do with this bus? However, if you're thinking like I'm thinking, you see potential. And I'm thinking that this would be probably one of the most awesome Airbnbs that you ever could hope to have on a piece of property. Because where else are you going to stay in a retro 1952 GMC bus and have a little vacation? So I'm going to walk towards the back a little bit here and I'm going to turn around and give you a full view. We have a nice kitchen, some cabinets, and beautiful carpet ceiling. There's your cabinets. you got a little stove. Nice cabinetry. You have your microwave and your refrigerator. 
of course. Now I'm going to turn around so you can get the full perspective. Comes with this beautiful stained glass chandelier, keep in mind. There's the front. You have your air vent also. Um, could use a refreshing of the curtains. They're a little stained. But all in all, for when it was done, it's pretty preserved. There's your cabinetry on the bottom. All right. Let's take a look towards the back. Okay, guys, as I'm coming around the kitchen here, I just wanted to show you that you have a beautiful cedar-lined closet for your clothes. Okay, let's keep walking towards the back of the bus. You have this great little divider. Keep your privacy. Again, here's the kitchen cabinets. The top, sink, bottom cabinets. Now as you come into here, you have a beautiful little dressing area. Again, this was the window from outside, so you have this beautiful long window and ventilation. Sorry for the mess out there. It is in the garage. You have beautiful little mirror, vanity light. Then on this side, you have your everything you need. Nice sink. Sorry for the light. I'll move that so you can see. There's your sink. Tiled, fully tiled. And you have your nice little shower area that you can actually, I believe, sit in also. It is a little tub, if that's your thing. All right, we're going to take a walk to the back and see the bedroom. Beautiful light. You have this seating area. And then you have this bed and a dresser. And again, air conditioning unit, ventilation. Here's the bottom. And I believe this carpet is, dare I say it, I think it's mauve, guys. I think the carpet is mauve back here. So there you go. Again, carpet on the ceiling. Now I have to say to you, this has been in storage for quite some time and the owner did put bounce around to try and repel rodents, see a little bit of rodent damage, not too much. Um, but overall, it's not really doesn't smell real moldy in here, really just a little stale from sitting. So I don't think there's any real issue with the interior of this. Um, show you up front. Finish walking. I just think these cabinets are so cool. The studs. <clears throat> All right, guys, walk up front one more time. Your seating area. I'm telling you guys, this is an Airbnb dream. If you have a lot and you're looking for something cool or you have a lot on a lake, uh, you'll, you'll make a fortune just pulling this in, setting it up with a generator or something, and you're good to go. There's the seats. Again, I'll show you the, all the gauges. The handle for the bus. And look at that clock. What a fabulous thing to have. And then there's that beautiful ornamentation on the door. All right, here's a look at the engine. Um, it's a Detroit diesel 671. As I said, it's not running. Um, it is what it is. That's why it's a resurrection piece. You need to come in, get it running, or tow it to your spot and enjoy it. Just a little scan here for you. Okay. All right, guys, and just to add to the fun, we have another bus. This is the original condition bus. It has the original seats. Um, the motor has been seized. I hope to get this on video as soon as we get some of the grass cut down so you can have a look at that in case you have another idea. 
Hey everybody, I want to thank you again for coming out to look at this 1952 GMC bus with me. I hope you enjoyed the little walk around. I think it's an awesome piece of history. Um, again, 1952 GMC bus. It is not running, but that bus and the parts bus are both for sale. I will leave contact information on the bottom, so if you want to, you can get a hold of the owner, find out more information about it. Um, I'd love you to leave comments on your ideas on what we could do with this bus because I'd love to get it back out in the public and have people enjoy it. Again, guys, subscribe to my channel. I'm having some fun with this. I have some ideas, and I'll bring you something as soon as I can get it in place. Thanks, guys.